Thank you, Dominic. Thank you, Tina. Uh, so I have an announcement to make. Uh, as I said, I have my announcement to make. And I'm now going to make my announcement. Thank you very much. And for most of our audience, it's probably the last thing that they want to hear me say. Um, but you know me. Um, I don't do things by halves. So cue the sad music. I started this radio show in the morning back in January in 2004 and it was my dream job. It's the one I'd wanted since I was a child. The coveted Radio 1 breakfast show. Now I know some kids want to be a professional footballer or a fireman, but not me. I'm a geek and I wanted to be on the radio and I wanted the biggest radio show that you could get and eventually I got it. And for the last eight and a half years I've had the best time of my life and I've got to share it with a small group of friends and eight million strangers every morning for three and a half hours a day. When I started, I wanted to do the show for 10 years and everybody thought I was nuts. And some mornings it did feel like we wouldn't even make it till 10 o'clock that day, but we always did. The weird thing about doing this job is that almost since day one, there's been speculation about how long it would last. Rumours that the bosses wanted me out, front page stories in the newspaper saying I'm going to be fired before the end of the year, printed whispers of my successor and when they would take over, all of that. And throughout all of it, the one thing that's remained constant was me and the team coming into work every day, doing the show, making the audience laugh and the bosses at Radio 1 were happy. So I find myself at a time when actually nobody is looking my way. It's all gone quiet. There aren't any rumours about me being fired. It's like people have got bored with making stuff up and distracted by the rain and the Olympics. So I'm going to say it. Not the papers or Twitter, me. We're going to leave the breakfast show. And we're not going to go yet, because we're going to be on next week and the week after that. We've got holidays booked in August and we'll come back after that. I just want to give you a heads up and tell you that we're going to wrap it up. Radio 1 are going to find someone new to host the show and they'll put their take on it. Radio 1 can do that when they want to do that. But this show, it's all about me and it's all about the team. And with the hope of sounding over the top and melodramatic... I wanted to say thank you to everybody listening to the show for giving the team and me the best time ever. Me and Dave and Dom and Alad, we've been here every day since the beginning and now Freya and Pippa and Tina have joined us and we love it. It's been the most fun, the best time ever and even during tough times, this show has honestly been the best three and a half hours of my day, every day. And I know that's sad. But I am sad. I'm a geek. I'm a radio geek. I'm living his dream with millions of people every day listening, having a laugh, mucking around. And I know it's just a radio show, but we're all in it together. Me, the team, and every single one of us. Eight million of us. But it's almost time to go. And so we're off. And I just wanted to let you know. A couple of more months of us, and then it's someone else's turn to have a go. So thanks for listening, and I hope you stay with us till the end, because I promise it's going to be brilliant. And for those people who are thinking, Jesus, it's just a radio show, stop banging on about it, you don't get it. And for everyone else who does get it, you know it's all about me. I don't do things by halves. My tongue is always buried deep in my cheek. So thank you for listening. The show may now continue. In fact, let's get back to what this show is all about. Let's play some music. (laughs) 